coming up on Art House Today. Children exhibit their brilliant drawings at the Red Door Gallery in Lagos. Then in another part of the metropolis, precisely at the Nikkei Art Gallery, a young group of artists are revealing their best works of art. So basically, we're looking at what the future creatives are doing on this week's episode of the program as they give us top-notch art. Glad to have you join us, and I trust you're keeping safe. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Let's take our wordsmith for this week, and we'll be right back. Our spoken word today is by Lucky Onya, and it's titled, Tell Lies or Say the Truth. Buried beneath thick layers, deceit masks itself with a charm, trying to extinguish truth's aura. Nervous buys lies without a blink, schemas employed for gain, and the keen at heart eschewed without strain. Light always repels darkness, as lies and truth don't coexist, it's hell or heaven, but never both. Truth is peaceable by nature, its fruitage adduces compassion. It's able to upturn all deceit. It paints the accurate picture, brings clarity with great precision, reveals the hidden beauty of pain, lifts our soul to an ethereal plane, liberates hearts from all cares, and guides seekers to the hereafter. Don't blend truth and lies in halves. Positive times negative is negative. It's either or, but never both. Deceit. The best art exhibition is the zenith of a competition which began some time ago. The aim of this show is to display the works of art of upcoming artists who had participated in this art campaign. These works of art are the result of a process which began in the month of August. From over 1,442 entries, several screening stages, to the ones which finally made the cut and have been showcased at the Nike Arts Gallery Lagos, in this show tagged the best art exhibition. About 1,442 works uh, were submitted and um, we began to uh, you know, narrow them down from 1,442 to 162, then to 80, to 20, and to the best 10. Uh, we looked at uh, originality, creativity, and we looked at the form and content. Uh, somehow, some of the works uh, that didn't make it through, perhaps we had to drop them because of the age bracket of the brand, uh, which is sensitive, you know. Uh, but all the same, I uh, want to say this is a great initiative in the years of the lockdown uh, that art practice and art show is bouncing back. Yeah, I think um, it's a fantastic um, one. Um, it's good uh, work of culture, I mean arts and culture. It's a fantastic um, expression of uh, people's ability to display uh, their innate, uh, uh, innate quality. So it's a good one. Ingenuity, quality, form, mastery of the medium, as well as the need to give the audience something to brighten their day, especially with the recent happenings in the country, is what the judges were looking for. The fact that people are able to express um, um, the inner um, ability of our situation, um, especially as a country, we've got a lot of talents here who are able to come up with ideas about how people feel. In spite of all the challenges that we are facing, people are still able to come out and show, showcase uh, the good deeds that uh, we have got in spite of all our challenges.
You know, art is life, and life is art. My impression for art is all my life. I was inborn. Art is inside me before I was born. And I'm just to tell you how I feel about the younger people, who is our future, coming up with the creativity. So Nigeria will always be number one. In this healthy competition, the artists were allowed to let their imagination run wild as it's a no holds bar session. They walk here smiling, suffering and smiling. It's about uh, women that are silently in pain, putting on smiles even though they want to cry. So this is not to distribute blame, it's, it's to portray those women that, that are fighting, um, going through social, cultural, marital challenges but yet they hide it behind their pain. They hide behind their pain and put on smiles for the world to see. I believe in the Ziegler's word that says we face everything to rise. So this work, I chose to, even though pain, um, nails connote pens, I chose to use the colorful thread, bringing the different colors, layers of thread together to form a smiling face. When you come close to the work, you see drippings of thread that shows their stress, their pain. But despite those struggles, they still put on smile. The title of my work is Muse, um, and it portrays the, the, a, a female who is at her peace, enjoying her happiness, enjoying her loneliness, enjoying her calmness or serene environment. And uh, you can, if you can see the work, um, it, it has the, the combination of um, bright colors. So I try to put in the color to, to give out the best in me. They've done marvelously well, honestly. I, I, I could not have imagined individuals sitting down and bringing up creativity in this form. You know, these are people we never knew all the why. We feel like not just, you know, um, pushing anybody aside. As long as you have the talent, we feel we can support you. And that's why we're here. First of all, I must say art is a religion. Art is an expression of yourself from inside. Different artists with different works and how they express themselves. So, you know, we, in Africa, we have those that are actually deep-rooted in the culture. For, for those, like probably the European people, they do different things. And also, art is just an expression of yourself, how you feel like and how you want to relate with other people. This one, I call him Omuti Ogbagbeya. Ogbagbeya is there. So, all the work you are looking at here, all of them have a special spirit. You see the one with the string, that there is some time of sorrow, and then there is some time for joy. So all of them have special meaning, and I'm very, very happy to see the artist's composition. Only the best is what the audience deserves, and these group try to give them a slice of that with the works of art exhibited in this gallery. The works of art really reveal how creative young people are, and we see most of them, especially on our various social media platforms.
Let's begin with this work done by Peter. It's called Red Nation and is done with ink on paper. Then Ugu Pascal calls this one Lekki Tollgate. It's done with acrylic and mixed media. Then cleansing is a charcoal and graphite pencil on alabaster paperwork done by Emmanuel. Ogonna has colored pencil on paperwork called It's Time. Then Stained is an acrylic on paperwork done by Chiedu. Olaiton has this charcoal on paperwork called Inner Peace. Then Beast Region says, what a year with this graphite and charcoal work. Shine Your Eye is Raji Nuruddin's fabric and acrylic on canvas piece. To this one called One Voice done by Light Gana Gana with oil on straw board. And Chooks has This Is Nigeria done with acrylic on canvas. And that's how we wrap up your works of art for this week. We do appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Let's take a moment now when Art House returns, we look at what the little ones are up to when it comes to art. Join us again. The only thing we have learned from experience is that we learn nothing from experience. I use discarded objects to heal a defaced support representing our country. These group of artists made a name for the academy when they came into limelight years ago. Not because they are children, but the quality of art they churn out show that indeed big things come in small packages. The children that created these works of art are between the age of 8 to 15 after undergoing an intensive training at the Ayowole Art Academy. The result of all that hard work manifests in this exhibition called Headstone at the Red Door Gallery Lagos.
Headstone um, is like a synonym word for for cornerstone, and this uh, theme is speak from biblical scripture that says uh, the stone that has been forsaken by the builders later become the the important uh, pillar. So relating that to to the exhibition we are having today, so we we just want to have like the student that they are the future of art in our nation. I'm Ayodeji and my partner is Adewale. So we came together to emulate and become one as Ayodeji Academy of Art. It started a very long time ago when we, when, we disco when, when we were in our vocational art school. That is where we were learning how to draw and paint. So me and my partner, we found out that the little ones that were below us then, they have more time to play, to play around, run around. We found out that all the kids are always playing around. So we now, me and my partner now thought that how can we help the society and throw back to the society? We now decided to form an art academy where we train just outside the compound. We train the younger ones on how to draw and paint. That was when the old story started. These hyper-realistic drawings, which capture different issues, always leaves jaws dropping, as the audience cannot help but wonder how lifelike they appear. One of the leading lights in the pack, Karim Olamilekon, has been crowned the youngest hyper-realistic artist in Africa. He rose to prominence when he did a drawing of French President Emmanuel Macron, and it's been uphill from there. I started drawing at the tender age, and um, I joined Ayole Academy of Art um, when I was nine years old. I was still not 17. So it was Ayole that brought out the talent, the nurtured my talent, and taught me how to draw professionally, paint professionally, and do sorts of art things. One of the works that Karim created is called Deliberate. This Deliberate is talking about how people embark on their day-to-day -day activities. It's telling us about how people put food on their table before they can eat. So, and in the demonstration that we have, we have the one the boy is with the spoon in his mouth. That is, and he has sweat all over his face. So he's letting us to know that before we can put food in our mouth or put food on the table, we need to go through hard working and struggles. So that is why the sweat on the hard work faces symbolizes um, struggle. That is struggle for liberty. But there are others like him with loads of potential, and that's the reason for showcasing all of them in this exhibition. The, the works that are featured by Karim and other kids are amazing works because Karim has really worked hard to exhibit his works to here today. Uh, most of his works before are smaller scale works, but he has tried to go much more to create a larger piece so as to exhibit. So this has taken more time to work. And other kids here have tried to showcase themselves that not only Waris is the hyperrealism artist in Nigeria, like there are also other kids that can, that can do um, art like that. And looking at their work here today, uh, works that a lot of people that have attended the exhibition really appreciate their works because of the effort, because of the significant meaning, and because of the aesthetics. They're already giving viewers an ace at this age, so if these ones don't lose steam, they will certainly be trailblazers in the future. Hard to believe they were done by children, right? Well, we've been following the Academy of Arts, especially the star boy Kareem, and I'm really proud of how far they've come and optimistic that they will continue to grow no matter their career path. Well done, guys. Gradually getting to the home stretch now, but before we go, let's see your perspective on our question for this week. On our feedback segment, we asked you what you think the role of the artist or artists should be. 
Elizabeth Olua Tui says there should be a voice in the society by transferring their messages into any medium of art, for instance, painting, drawing, and what have you. Alainka believes there should be a lot of roles that should be in conformity with national unity, mostly a voice of the society, one that can inspire togetherness. Artists should build and not tear apart. Adebayo Owolabi believes that artists should and must be honest. Therefore, they play the role of a mirror, reveal the truth and influence minds. That does not make us righteous either. That's the irony. Chika Simi says, artists make imaginations come alive. Uzo Asiegu believes that art, as simple as it may seem, cuts across all spheres of life, ranging from beautification, engineering, medicine, fashion, information, documentation, preservation, and so on. Art is simply a catalyst that brings life together. My thoughts. Samuel Oshose says, artists should inspired change. Coming up on the program. Olalekon Lashakon takes us through his waste to wealth journey. I recycle cell dust to create artwork, to protect the environment and to create jobs for our team youth. We will see how he creates his art, plus your reaction to our latest poser when you tune to the Art House next week. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. As we look forward to the next episode, we have a new question for you. What's your dream project as a creative? That is, a project you have always wanted to do that you've been thinking about all this time. Tell us on any of our social media platforms. And don't forget, you can see this or any other episode of Art House on our YouTube page or just go to our website, channelstv.com. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.